Reading engineering drawings is an essential skill for anybody who works in the construction industry, from project engineers to contract administrators. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We'll go through the different types of engineering drawings, the different layout views, different section views, how to pull it all together, and how to understand what we're building from a set of drawings. Okay, so first up, what are the different types of drawings we need to understand? Well, there's layout or plan views, section views, schematics or symbols if we're dealing with mech, elect, and plumbing drawings, general notes which apply to all design packages, and I want to finish off with talking about some other things to consider when you're looking at drawings. Okay, first up, we've got plan view and top-down drawing. So a plan view is an aerial view of the project. It's imagine we're above the project looking down. What do we want to pay attention to when we're looking at a plan view? Well, the first thing we have are grid lines. So grid lines are references that are used throughout the set of drawings. So this grid line will be used in elevation views. So elevation views we're looking face on and section views where we have specific cuts of something and we want to look at it in more detail. These same grid lines can be used. So that's useful when we're referencing, we're going from different types of drawings. We want to understand where we're looking at in the building project. We've got dimensions, so things such as the overall width of the building or offsets, there's none shown on this drawing. We want to pay attention to the RL. So the RL is the level. You can imagine the height. Typically, it's a measurement in meters, which references meters above sea level. For example, you can have a slab level RL, you can have a finished floor level RL. If you've got a building, you might have multiple plan views with different RLs, or you can have a natural service level. So this is plan view taken at finish floor level of the building, which is at RL 31.25. You can have section marks. So you'll have a cut of the building. There'll be a drawing reference on the section mark. We can go look at that section if we want a more detailed view of what we're looking at. There'll be notes and tags, which talk about things like call outs for finishes, penetrations or structural elements. And we'll also have a north point that gives us an orientation of where we're looking. Okay. Next up, we've got section views, which are cut throughs of the drawings, which give us more detail. For example, this is a section view of footing detail F6. So in our footing schedule, we can see F6 is a type of footing. This is the section view of footing F6. So if you imagine the plan view, we're looking down, there's a whole lot of footings per warehouse. In the section view, there's a detailed cross section that shows us the exact dimensions of that. On top of that, you can see the grid line reference WB, WC. We can reference exactly where this is. The reason it's WB and WC is because that footing F6 is used in different grid lines. So what do we want to look at when we're looking at section view? We want to pay attention to where the grid line's inserted or intersected so we can see where the section is cut through, exactly where that is. You can see things like the exact slab thickness. You can see structural elements. For example, this is showing the floor slab, the footing below it, the slab block out where the structural steel goes in. In certain architectural drawings, you'll be able to see things like structural elements, structural steel, how it ties into architectural claddings. You'll be able to see ceiling heights, clearances. On civil drawings, you'll be able to see things like subgrade layouts, blinding, waterproofing, and you'll be able to see other things like finishing and build up. So section views, depending on whether you're looking at structural, architectural, civil, mechanical, electrical, whatever you're looking at, Will show different things but basically they're just cut throughs of the drawings to provide us more specific information about what we're building okay next up we've got elevation views or side views plan view gives us top down section views give us detailed sections of specific elements of what we're building elevation view is a side view of the project so for example for this warehouse we can see the actual structural steel frame of the warehouse looking at it side on what do elevation views typically show? Well, they'll show heights and RLs. So we know from the plan view that the slab level was at 31.25. There might be a different type of drawing that shows what RLs these heights are at. You can see better on plan views, things like openings, windows, doors, lubes. You can see finishes. So it'll show material callouts, maybe a certain type of painting on the wall. You can see grid again, these grid lines are showing up. WC is where this portal frame is. Again, that same grid line that you can see in the plan view and actually in the same section view. And you can see it really, again, depends on the type of drawing you're looking at, but it'll be show you all sorts of different things that you can only see from a side view. Okay, next up, we have general notes. So general notes aren't drawings. They're just notes that you need to read in conjunction with the drawing. So for example, if you've got 
this building that shows concrete foundations, there wouldn't be a note on every single drawing saying 32 MPA drawing that needs to get approved by the civil engineer with a specific mixed design requirement. No, that'll be captured in the general notes of the drawings we'll talk about. A cover on reinforcement, it's basically to prevent recycling information on every single drawing. So general notes are global notes that apply to the entire drawing set. They're often missed but contain critical information such as project-wide assumptions, speci specification references, responsibility, clarifications, design scope, boundaries, these sorts of things. What I find happens a ton of projects, which is really frustrating, is that general notes always tend to contradict the contract or the scope of works. That's why you just have to, be atten you have to pay attention to what all these different documents are telling you. Okay, the next set of drawings we have a mech, elect, and plumbing schematic drawing. So this is where instead of seeing something physically, how it's built, like the plan, elevation, section views, you could see that it represented the structure we were actually building. Schematic and MEP drawings typically use symbols to represent different components. So for example, you might have a single line diagram, which is a visual representation of how the electrical system is put together. So for example, this single line diagram represents a is represented in a logical flow. It goes from the power source, the transformer, the switchboard to the sub circuits. All of these different elements aren't represented by how they physically look, they're represented by symbols. So you need to have reference to the symbols, the, the abbreviations to understand what they all ref represent. When you're looking at schematic and MEP drawings, there'll always be tag references. For example, this is transformer one, this is transformer two, this is transformer three. They'll talk about control strategies, there'll be sizing and load data. The other type of MEP drawing you'll get, so you'll have a, some sort of, for example, electrical, you have an electrical single line diagram which shows the logical flow. You'll also have layout drawings. So the single line diagram is the representation of the overall system. The layout diagram doesn't show how everything's wired together, but it shows where everything is. So this really simple electrical layout diagram, you can see where all the wall lights are, where there's an exhaust fan, these sorts of things. So these are represent of where everything is in practice in the building. Typically, there'll also be a note against, an, against it which has an elevation height above it. So for example, this light is to be mounted at two meters above ground level. Okay, so what are some general tips for how you should tackle engineering drawings? Well, first thing I always tell people is don't just blindly look at drawings. Have a specific reason to be looking at drawings. It makes it a hundred times easier if you're trying to solve a problem by looking at drawings. If you just take out the drawings, trying to understand scope gets a bit challenging. So the first thing I want to do is I'll want to understand what the drawings are showing so I can prepare a list of RFIs to create the client. So my goal is to review the drawings to create a list of RFIs. Or if I'm doing an estimate, my goal is to review the drawings to understand the quantities I need to measure so I can do a quantity takeoff or to build a schedule or to develop a construction sequence. The order, I'll then look at the documentation. Now, this is really important because you don't want to just dive into looking at a section view because you'll confuse yourself, is if there's a 3D model, always look at the 3D model first. 3D models make complicated structures a trillion times easier than just flicking through drawings, trying to match up layout views with elevation views with section views. Always start with the 3D model. You can spend two minutes looking at it and probably get a really good understanding of what you're building. Then I'll always look in this order, typically structural drawings, which show the key structures, the civil drawings, and then services drawings. Typically you wanna first look at the plan view or the overview view if you've got ones, then the plan view from the bottom up and then the elevation views. And look, it really depends on the type of project and what you're trying to understand. And there's a lot of different ways to do it find it 100 times easier if I've got a specific reason for looking at the drawings.